Well, the highly anticipated new WOTUS rule was released late last month without public comment. Now, with the amendment, the EPA claims to conform the regulatory definition to fit the Supreme Court's opinion in the second case. Roger McOwen with the Washburn University School of Law joins us now with perspective on the next steps. Roger, this is just the latest in the legal controversy over the rule. Can you give us some background and, and let us know really how we ended up here? Well, good to be with you, Christina. We've ended up here from a, a tortured tour of probably 40 to 45 years of the definition of what a wetland is under the Clean Water Act and administrations going back and forth and back and forth in terms of the regulatory definition of what a water of the United States is to try to comport with the underlying statute in the Clean Water Act that Congress enacted. Uh, and that's always the job of the administrative agency. But then politics gets involved, and so you get one interpretation that comes out, and then the political winds change, and you get a different interpretation. And so the pendulum constantly swings back and forth, and that's what it's done for decades. Well, we had a U.S. Supreme Court opinion back in, I believe it was 2006, that really didn't clarify anything. In fact, the court was so fractured, they had multiple opinions on it. And the courts were trying to figure out what the plurality opinion was or what Justice Kennedy's kind of middle ground was. And that's where they came up with a significant nexus test. And so if there was any type of connection, basically, and I'm so over summarizing it, uh, any type of connection that could be made between a remote wet area on a farm and a water of the United States, such as the Mississippi, Missouri River, or what the case might be, uh, then the, the government would claim jurisdiction. Well, we had the Sackett case out of North Idaho. Uh, the Sackett's bought a lot about 100 yards from Priest Lake, which is a water of the United States, but it didn't have any connection to it. There was no surface water connection from their lot to the lake. Had to cross a road uh, and it had to cross other people's lots to get to the lake uh, from their property. And they started to develop it, and the government came in, EPA and the Corps, said, um, no, uh, we think you've got a wetland. Well, these poor people made two trips to the U.S. Supreme Court. The first one was to force the government agencies to actually make a decision as to whether what they had was a wetland or not. They won that case at the U.S. Supreme Court nine to zero. Then the agencies came back and said, OK, it is a wetland. Well, then they go to the Supreme Court again, and the Supreme Court said 9-0 that the significant nexus test is not the correct test. Uh, the current administration had put out a, a rule back in March before the Supreme Court issued its opinion using the significant nexus test. Now the court said, nope, that's not the correct test. And they were unanimous in saying so. They were also unanimous in saying that the Sackett's property was not a wetland. So then that's why the agencies had to come out and issue this amendment uh, under the uh, emer so-called emergency procedures of the Administrative Procedures Act. So they didn't have to publish uh, a, a, the notice first and let the public comment on it. They just put the ruling out there. Will it comport with the U.S. Supreme Court's opinion? Well, they did drop the significant nexus test and they said, uh, like the Supreme Court said, you have to have a continuous surface water connection. Um, but we shall see whether this will answer the questions or how the agency will actually implement its new interpretation. As I understand it, a part of the difficulty is trying to define the word adjacent. <laughs> so where yeah. do we go from here? And do you think litigation concerning the definition of WOTUS will ever end? Um, ever end? Probably not. Uh, it's the lawyer's full employment uh, provision of the Clean Water Act. But there currently are three cases that are that are pending. Uh, those were the cases that the courts issued injunctions stopping the current administration's interpretation of the rule from taking place in 27, taking force in 27 states. I don't know what's going to happen to those cases given the new amendments in the Supreme Court's opinion now. But currently, the the existing existing rules not in, in being enforced in 27 states. It's enjoined. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that litigation. And again, like I said, we'll have to see how the agencies actually implement what adjacency means and what a ditch is and what a continuous surface water connection really means. And that's that's the nuts and bolts stuff that I say that really impacts farmers and ranchers. And we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah, because they want to be able to use their property in any way that they see fit. That's what is one of the beautiful things about having your own property in this country. We'll have to see what happens. We appreciate having you to sort it all out for us. Roger McOwen with the Washburn University School of Law. Thank you for joining us.